What is up you guys and welcome back to another Design Tuesday with Sandra. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Alright, so for today's video, I've come to the realization that I kind of throw all these fancy interior design terms at you guys and I don't really explain what they are and I just talk about them assuming you guys know what they mean when in reality you guys are probably like what the heck is she talking about? So, I thought it might be helpful to make a video based on interior design terminology. That way you guys can follow along and understand the lingo of designers, you know, how we talk. And that way you guys can be more knowledgeable in these terms. Because I know when you're shopping online, there, there's all these words and you're probably like, I don't know what they mean, Is, am I looking for the same thing, you know? Oh, wait, uh, before I get started, I just want to let you guys know that when I was making this list, I realized that there's quite a lot of terms and words. So I'm going to make this into a two-part video. This is part one, so stay tuned for part two. So, okay, let's get started for real. So starting with a sconce, it is a light fixture mounted on the wall. A trivet is an accessory to place a hot dish to protect your table or countertops from burning. A chase lounge is an upholstered armchair with an extended seat. It's meant to be laid on and many people, they use this during like therapy sessions so they can just lay down and comfortably talk. An outdoor chase lounge is used for sun tanning and they are always by the pool. A mullion is a vertical bar between the glass and a window. So if you take a look at the picture and you see those black bars between the glass panels, that is a mullion. A finial is a decorative ornament at the end of the curtain rod. It also helps the curtains from falling out of the curtain rod. Wainscoting is decorative paneling on the lower part of the wall. A wall niche is a recessed box inside of the wall used to display items. It's basically an indent in the wall to display like accessories and it can also be used in showers. In that case, it would be called a shampoo niche. A bathroom vanity is a countertop and cabinet for the bathroom. You kind of have to be careful when you're shopping online for a bathroom vanity because sometimes they might have the sink or they might not. A credenza is a cabinet style piece with sliding doors and it provides serving space. So it's mostly used in dining rooms. So if you have parties overs, you can put food on top of the credenza and you can also use it to store glassware. A console table is a thin table against the wall to hold accessories. It's mostly used in the entryway of a home. That way you can just put your keys down or your bag. Contrast, two elements that have opposite characteristics and are placed together. So for example, if you take a look at those two pictures, first one you have kind of like this charcoal navy dark color against the white wall. That's contrast. Basically pairing a light color with a dark color or element and that creates some contrast. Egress is having an obstructed path to leave the space. As a designer, it is very important to have circulation area and space for people to get out, whether it's residential or commercial, it's very important. A Murphy bed is a wall bed that can be flipped down when needed, so this is great for saving storage and space. That is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you learned a thing or two, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if there's any terms that you guys didn't know and you guys were kind of shocked or maybe you already knew these terms. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. And I will catch you guys on another Design Tuesday. Bye.